contact sheets are an incredibly important part of film photography because they provide a physical visual reference where you can view all of the images you've taken on a single film. And with digital photography, although we have the ability to view images in software such as Lightroom and Adobe Bridge and other software, it's still not always the best way to view your images. If you're working on a project or a series of images or even a book, it's always much better to print contact sheets, cut those images out, and then you can move them around and see how the images work together in a sequence and how two images that may be on opposing pages work together. They're also useful if you need to send a set of proofs to a client or someone else where you just want to show a number of images in a single document. So creating contact sheets in Photoshop is the best way to do that. I'm in Lightroom here at the moment and I've already selected 12 images. You can create contact sheets with any number of images. What we're gonna do here is export these images as small JPEGs so that we can produce that contact sheet. So I'm just going to so I'm going to save a folder to my desktop that's called contact sheet. I'm going to export as JPEGs at 100% and the color space is going to be Adobe RGB 1998, assuming that I might print those contact sheets. I've resized the images so the long edge is a thousand pixels because we don't need to export the full size images. This is going to provide adequate quality for the contact sheet itself. And then after export, I've set it to do nothing because we need to load the images into Photoshop in a certain way rather than having them all open up in there automatically. So we'll export those images now. So here we are in Photoshop and all that we need to do here is go up to File and then Automate and select Contact Sheet 2 and that's going to bring up the contact sheet to dialogue for us. So all of my previous settings are dialed in here. If you've never used this before, it's just gonna have the default. So what we go through now could be really useful to you. So the first thing that you need to do is decide whether to use folder or files. And it's always much easier to just choose folder rather than individual files because it's just so much quicker and easier. And then we just need to choose the actual folder. So I'm going to go for my contact sheet folder that I created just a moment ago. And then we can move down to the document information. So I'm using my units in centimeters because I'm creating an A4 sized contact sheet. So with the width at 29.7 centimeters and a height of 21 centimeters, that's a landscape orientation. If you wanted a portrait orientation, you could just switch those two round. And of course, we're not tied to A4. If you have an A3 or a larger printer, you can, of course, create a larger document. So the resolution is set to 300 pixels per inch. The color profile, once again, like the images, is Adobe RGB 1998. And then with the thumbnails, you can choose how they're placed. They can be placed down first or across first. So if you have any additional images that don't fit on the main contact sheet or contact sheets, they will either be in a column or a row, depending on which one of these you choose. So for down first, this is gonna create a column. So I've chosen to have three columns and three rows. So that gives me nine images on a sheet of A4 paper. Obviously I have 12 images. So I could squeeze all of those onto a single sheet and I could just choose to have maybe four columns and three rows, but I want to have some extra images that go over a single contact sheet so that you can see how this looks. And I'm just gonna use the auto spacing or you can set that yourself, but using auto works absolutely fine. And then finally, we have use file name as caption. This can be useful, but it does take up space and makes the images slightly smaller. So if you don't need to have the file name on the contact sheet, then you can just uncheck that. But you know, it's a 50-50. Sometimes you're gonna need it, sometimes you're not. 
So once all that's done, all you need to do is hit OK, and then Photoshop will generate the contact sheets for you. So here is the second contact sheet. So that just has the three images on, which have gone over because I obviously had 12 and set up a single sheet to only accommodate nine. And then on the main sheet, we have the full nine images. So one thing I didn't mention is in the contact sheet to dialog, there is an option to rotate for best fit. And I highly recommend using that because if not, some may be really small and others slightly larger. So if you rotate for best fit, you ensure that all of the landscape and portrait images are exactly the same size, which is especially useful if you're planning to cut them out to plan an order for a project. So that is how to create contact sheets using Photoshop.